Hi everyone, it's a sketch your fashion drawing tutorials and in this lesson we're going to render this red chiffon Dolce & Gabbana Alta Moda 2015 dress. So let's start from the sketch. I'm drawing the head and as I'm trying to repeat the same pose, I'm drawing your right shoulder a bit higher and your hips are sloped in other direction. Then I'm drawing the central line, shoulders. So please watch in full screen mode. It's just a glimpse to how I usually draw poses. So I first draw shoulders and then hip line, waistline, and then I draw <coughs> the central curve and then finish on the body. I drew a bit uh, wide belt, like uh, detail of your dress at your waistline. Next I'm drawing her legs and she's going to have this um, lower part of her skirt, like a tail, uh, coming from just above her knees. So like uh, just a bit more than one centimeter above her knees. And uh, here I'm drawing. So pay attention that the sides of hemline are drawn a bit higher because they are further. Drawing her corset and she has some chiffon fabric over her breast line. So the um, distance from her body until her elbow is more than width of her head. I just made it approximately. And the elbow is at the same level as her waistline. When I draw hands, I usually draw first uh, the palm and then I add fingers. So again palms and then I draw fingers as uh, lines and then finish them. So next your face. I, I usually draw the head approximately, then I draw facial features and then if I need to fix jawline or anything I just do it like right now. I think um, I need to change a little bit your chin, draw it a bit lower and then I'm fixing everything. So eyebrows. Then let's lower her ears. Hair, and then she has this crown. And this uh, quite massive earrings. Next I'm using fine liner 0.1 and I'm just outlining all the details that I need. So it depends on your style. Usually in my illustration, I always outline like uh, all of everything. So now just showing some draping. Next I'm using patty color for the shadows. So usually I show the nose bridge, eyelids, under her lips, under her nose under her chin, then show these uh, collarbones, some details with a bit stronger shadows, armpits, elbows, so any like prominent bones. Next I'm using almond color, it's a bit lighter, so they all have this pinkish pigment, really work good for more European type of face. Next, uh, first I drew with almond some really soft shadows, like on her chest, and then I'm coloring everything. Since your dress is transparent, I'm also coloring your uh, legs and her breasts, even though she's probably wearing some combination or some, some lingerie, I still like uh, probably the body color. 
So next with a fine liner I'm showing all these bones and details of your corset and um, yeah, here as well. And the low part, so it should finish logically. Next I'm using saffron color, just partially coloring those bones. And next with uh, baby pink, any light pink color with this uh, horizontal thread. I'm actually, you know, trying to follow her body. She's, she's moving, her, since she's moving her legs, I'm making them a little bit wavy from one side to another side. And as you can see, I have some parts, like light parts between. Next I'm using uh, cocktail pink because it's a bit darker than previous baby pink. And again coloring in the same way, just strokes from one side to another one. Then spread red, take a previous light pink and mix it with red and again repeat uh, some of those strokes, like uh, wider strokes here and there. So we're showing some, some of these faults, not all of them, because some of them are really light, uh, reflective, and mostly on the sides, uh, under your fingers probably is darker, so we're coloring with this red. And next with white ink gel pen add some reflection on your metallic uh, details of the corset. Not totally but uh, partially. Next I'm using red pencil and uh, making some strokes again similar to ones that we made with markers. So pencil on a light marker surface really good to show chiffon. Like if you watched any other AppSketcher tutorials with chiffon before, you probably remember that we always use pencil. Next I'm using some uh, wine color just between her legs because it's darker. And uh, with white pencil I'm showing some reflection of light just in case uh, we open down with red like so she has a text La Scala, like the name of the theater in Milan. So I wrote it with white ink gel pen. And for the tail of her skirt, I'm using poppy color. So just any really, really bright red would work. So I'm just trying to color everything so I get a smooth solid color so there is no white visible from the background so now i spread red and then i mix pink with red and coloring on the sides because there are like less layers of fabric and it's uh, translucent over there so and uh, at the bottom as well so here i'm just adding a little bit because there are you know, different layers, two or four sometimes. So white pencil. Before working with white pencil, let's get a burgundy wine color, spread it on this surface, take the previous red and just make some really, uh, just create some texture, you know, because uh, before adding any reflection, we need some folds, so let's make those folds. Mm -hmm. 
and now I'm just drawing sometimes at hemline uh, I draw the reflection of light a bit wider and to show the edges of those folds I'm, I drew those corners uh, and it's just basically lines of different widths and directions now I'm using wine color also drawing lines between white ones and adding some extra ones showing um, the hemline there are several layers so as a result several levels of that hemline and uh, adding more of light with white pencil yeah, doing everything intuitively I mean this dress can be drawn in so many ways by so many illustrators so it's just one of the ways they can do it With a red pencil I showed just some folds again on the sides and on the top. Burgundy color just added some, adding some more folds. Okay, with purple pencil I'm adding uh, some shadows on her face, showing her nose, bridge, cheekbones, adding highlights with white ink gel pen, more shadows under her chin. With khaki color just drawing some dots over her crown, a gold color, and then scribbling over with just pencil to add the texture. Then for your hair, uh, let's add some cool gray five and some burgundy. So next, let's color your hair with caramel. And, um, adding highlights with uh, correction pen on your crown and just some texture again with fine liner. Uh, coloring from the sides with black on your hair, then some cool gray 5 and more of previous caramel color. Uh, just element. So uh, again scribbling and adding reflection with a correction pen. So uh, more of the shadows with the pencil on your body and with the almond color the one that we use for her skin, I'm just adding here and there some shadows. And here I'm drawing just some background. It's uh, some trees to make it like uh, mysterious. We're almost done with this sketch. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to Sketcher channel on YouTube for um, uh, more tutorials. To get access to exclusive content, you can become a patron of Sketcher on patreon.com. I really would appreciate if you support my art so I can really spend more time creating these tutorials and um, help you with your like specific problems. And... Uh, Follow Sketcher on Instagram and just stay tuned. See you in the next tutorial.